Hi guys, it's C Chronicles here. Thank you very much for joining me today. Um, my content is mostly fragrances, fragrance reviews, and uh, lifestyle and fashion videos. So if you're new here or you're always coming and watching and forgetting to subscribe, please do consider subscribing. It will mean a lot in the growth of this channel. I'll, I'd appreciate that a lot. And to my returning subscribers, thank you very much for coming back. I really do appreciate, you know, you always patronizing this channel. I appreciate you as always. I'm here with a fragrance review video for you. Um, I have with me here Oud 24 Hours. Oud 24 Hours by Ard Al Zafaran. Okay, Oud 24 Hours by Ard Al Zafaran, right? And that is what we're going to be talking about today. Uh, this fragrance has been uh, around for a while now and uh, it's popular for a reason. Uh, some people might know already uh, and, uh, you know, uh, they, they might know why this fragrance, you know, just took the market by storm. OK, this fragrance um, is, I think, has been in my collection for more than two years. But and I did do a, 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 a I did do not a review of it so much. It was like uh, within a I was comparing it with a, a Jade Goody fragrance. So it's one of those fragrances that I pulled out and thought, OK, let me just do an individual review of this fragrance. I've had it for, for so long, uh, but I haven't really given it some love. So I'm going to spray it on this piece of paper and I'm going to tell you my thoughts. Right. So here we go. Let's just spritz it here there you go right that's enough that's plenty so oud 24 hours by art al zafaran mm, okay um I, I just had a thought come through my mind of licorice licorice but li licorice is not listed as a note but something just reminded me of licorice just the burst of that first you know spray that went there definitely licorice i used to chew on that you know uh while i was growing up but anyway let's get into the actual notes of the fragrance the notes listed here are dark chocolate mandarin orange some bergamot um fruity notes spicy notes uh some gardenia ylang ylang and some jasmine and the base has got some patchouli some agarwood which is the oud it's got sandalwood some incense and some amber okay those are the notes listed so my licorice blast which i should i probably had uh, which i just had in the beginning could have been a mixture of the dark chocolate maybe with some orange you know something along them lines maybe with some orange and some fruits you know so maybe it just gives you the licorice kind of vibe so anyway now that I've sprayed it on a piece of paper, it's more chocolate than anything else. So the main accords of this fragrance are going to be spicy, sweet, woodsy, lots of chocolate and, uh, you know, embery. OK, so that's what this fragrance is all about. Now, the reason why this fragrance has been popular or is still popular is it's the best contender to Tom Ford's Black Orchid, right? Um, this is it's definitely inspired by that. There's no way. You know, Art Al Zafaran, the company would say, you know, they came up with this composition just from nowhere. This is this must be des definitely inspired by uh, uh, Tom Ford's Black Orchid. And this is definitely one that I'll say is the best contender or at least the one that I've sniffed on my nose. There's a lot of companies making perfumes these days. There could be something that is better. So, no, don't be offended if you know something that is better out there. Uh, the only thing uh, that I need to say here is the differences here is this one is less pungent. OK, so it's not as dark and as it's well, it is dark, but it's less pungent. So it's a lighter take to it. But at the same time, the lighter take in quotes I have to put is not too light. So, you know, all I'm just saying is if you put your nose on the black orchid, you know, that is quite a pungent. You know, it's a really thick fragrance. This one gives you the same thickness but less pungent if i'm making any sense okay the dark chocolate in here is so prominent and very realistic okay and i think it's what balances this oud and the sandalwood to keep it uh uh from crossing over to woodsy okay so uh instead of this one having the oud as the note in the forefront you know i could if oud was not listed i wouldn't even bother thinking there was it doesn't come through at least to my nose, I don't get to the part where I feel the oud. And I guess that's because of the chocolate, you know. The chocolate here is just masking the oud and the sandalwood, wrapping it up and just kind of making it mute. Okay, so if you don't like oud, this is not one that is going to disappoint you or that is going to lean too oudy, okay. 
The Ylang Ylang here is giving it like a rubbery, metallic feel. Okay. It, it works with the chocolate, you know, to give this uh, fragrance like a smooth custard-like background. That's just what I'm feeling. I, it also feels a bit like custard. It feels edible. That's the thing with this fragrance. So if I'm referring to so many things that you've probably eaten before, it's, it's one fragrance that when you spray it for the first time, it's just going to remind you of so many things that you've eaten. Because yes, the Ylang Ylang here, you know, is rubbery and metallic. Okay. But I think the mixture of that Ylang Ylang with the chocolate then gives it this smooth background that feels like a like custard okay the gardenia also gives it like a cream a, a creaminess that's reminiscent to coconut so this is why i said this is going to be like a a really f uh like a, a a lot of dishes i'm talking about here like a lot of food i'm talking about this is definitely you know uh uh one of those fragrances that really feel like you know commonish like something you could eat okay um it does have that coconut it's 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 coming through already and i think you carry this coconut um the entire time if you can differentiate between the coconut and the chocolate you know because one might say i don't smell the chocolate uh, the coconut that might just be because the dark chocolate is also like a key player in here so the combination here makes it feel as though it's coconutty but there is no coconut is it let me just no there's no coconut listed as a note in here it's just the note combos make it feel like there's coconut in here okay this is definitely a room filler in terms of sillage so don't worry about how it's going to project or how long it's going to last this is definitely a, a room filler okay i'm going to talk about how it long it's going to last on its own as an entity not as co in comparison to whatever it is inspired by uh this i feel has a decent is a is a decent performing fragrance okay yeah it's it's definitely the the I'm really trying to extract this oud onto my nose. It's definitely undetectable. The oud is mute. I just feel a chocolatey creaminess. That's what I get more, okay? The cons, or what I'd say I don't really uh, like about this fragrance is it does turn medicinal. It's got something in there that ends up reminding me of like a cough syrup thing. You know, it turns a bit cough syrupy somewhere there in between as you as you keep smelling it okay and also depending on what weather you wear it in if you wear it in real cold weather it's got no problem but if you wear it in the sun it does turn to kind of transform into something that feels like uh cough syrup and also a bit of some you know that feels a bit cloying so it can be too much if you overspray it it, it can be that sort of uh, a fragrance that might irritate the people around you if they don't like the way it is you know the composition in here because it does have a lot going on and it's it's a different take on how n most fragrances are done it's a definitely a different take you know it's it's it, and like i said there's no way Ad Al Zafran came with this composition on their own it's definitely coming from the tom ford and if you know tom ford's fragrances he's just got fragrances that have got a twist i have a bitter peach at the moment which i'm currently crazy about but it's definitely one fragrance that if i walk in there it's a fragrance but it's different it's not the way people perceive you know fragrance or the way people per perceive the normal fragrances it's just got a twist that is what you feel with this um you know oud 24 hours it's just different it is uh, really chocolatey but not in a childish way as well you know so uh, when i talk of yumminess and chocolates and coconuts and and all these you know beautiful notes don't forget it does have that tang of spiciness that makes it uh, that ensures it doesn't cross over to being childish so this is not a childish fragrance this is quite mature but it's one of those fragrances i feel even a young person might feel gravitating to might gravitate towards this because it's just a fun fragrance overall which performs even better in the cold than it does in the heat in the heat it can turn it can be too much and the other thing that really makes this fragrance popular obviously is the uh price point the price point of this fragrance is really next to nothing i will put 
in the description box where you can buy this fragrance if you haven't already because it's a popular fragrance i know a lot of people have it okay so yeah the chocolate here is definitely creamy it's creamy goodness you know but not childish so don't shy away from it thinking it's childish you may have to reapply if you are one of those people that are looking for like a super super beast mode fragrance but for me i've never had to reapply this fragrance you know whether i i spray it in the heat in the heat in fact i found this a lot cloying and then in the cold if I do my six, eight sprays, I just find they're enough, you know, to get it through, to get me through the day. So in terms of performance, I get a cool six to seven hours on my clothing, you know, without any need to reapply really, because it is quite a strong fragrance that is really unique. So yes, I have been talking about um, Oud 24 Hours by Art Alza Faran, okay? I know uh, a couple of people have this fragrance. Let me know in the comment section what you think of it. I think it's definitely a beautiful fragrance, except for the fact that it does have that medicinal feel that kind of feels like cough mixture. If you can go... If you can get past that, you know, then it's beautiful. It's fine. I just, I personally like it. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Click that subscribe uh, you know, button, help this channel grow. And uh, remember to like, comment and share and turn on post notifications so that you're notified anytime I upload a new video. Let's meet in the comment section to discuss more about Oud 24 Hours by Art Al Zafaran. It's been a pleasure talking to you about this perfume. My name is C Chronicles and remember smelling good is a form of good manners. Cheers.